I want to show you how to set up account tracking on your BizHub system. Account tracking allows you to assign a numeric code for each individual within your company or department or even by job if perhaps you're a, a legal firm and you want to be able to know how many prints and scans were made for each individual code. So the first thing we need to do is we need to turn account tracking on and then we need to set up the individual user codes uh, you know, for the different departments and individuals. And we can set up those codes right here at the machine, but I'm also going to show you how to set up those codes directly from the user interface from your computer. So if you're setting up a whole company, it's probably easier to do from your computer. If you just need to add one quick code for a new employee, you can do it right here at the machine. So first of all, let me show you how to turn that feature on. It's called account tracking, and what we're going to do is we're going to select the menu button, we're going to touch the utility choice, and this is an administrator setting, so choice number three, and then you're going to put in the administrator code of your machine. And in this case, it's administrator code, I'm going to back up one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and OK. And now we're in as the administrator. Now choice number four is your user authentication and account track. So we're going to select choice number four. We're going to select general settings and we're going to touch where it says account track right in the middle of the word itself and we're going to select on. Now it gives us the choice if you're going to ask people to input their account name and the password. I find that to be pretty cumbersome so usually I'll make the selection right below account track for account track input method and I will say password only so the end users only need to enter their numeric password in order to utilize the machine. So now we say OK. It's going to ask if it's OK to clear all data. In this case, yes. We're just setting it up for the first time, so we're going to say yes and OK. And it's going to take just a little bit for it to process that. And what we've really done is we've just turned on the feature so that it's ready now for us to set up accounts and then use those accounts. So now that we've turned on the feature, what we're going to do is we're going to go into account track settings and we're going to choose choice number one for account track registration and it's going to show me all the empty fields where we can set up our multiple accounts. So I start with the first one, choice number one, and I touch in that field and then I'm going to say edit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to touch the word password and I'm going to put in the numeric code that I've assigned for this customer. And we'll make it easy. We'll say 1234. And right below it, it asks us to confirm that password. So we're going to say 1234 again. And we're going to say OK. Now the name is how we identify that password. So when we're running our list at the end of the month, we want to give the individual or department or client name to whom we've assigned that code. So in this case, I'll use my name. I'll do Shift. I'll give it a capital R, O, S, S, and I'll say OK. And then I'll say OK again, and in this case we'll set that up as the only code. And we'll close that out. And so now we've turned account track setting on, and we've assigned codes. You can set up as many codes as you want, but in this case we just have the one. When we walk up to use this machine now, it's not going to let us use the machine unless we have the password. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the little keypad alongside the password and I'm going to tell it 1234 is my password and I'm going to say OK and log in. Now I can go ahead and utilize the machine, but all of the copying and such that I do is going to be tracked. So as an administrator, I can run a report each month and either just keep track of who's using the printer and how or if it's a billback system, I can create billings based on the usage for each individual account. You can also attribute those codes to different computers so that when somebody's printing from a specific computer, it goes to that person's code. You can also set up a computer so that if it's a shared computer, it will give you a prompt and ask you to enter your code before it will allow you to print. And that's the way that you can completely monitor the usage of everything printed and everything copied and scanned from this particular system. 
So that's how you turn on and initiate the account track setting and how you can add a new account for a new employee or during the initial setup of the feature itself. So that's account track setting and again if you when you're done with the machine it will resort back to the password screen and people are not allowed to use this machine without a valid passcode.